Yep, this is what we're doing today. A big old trunk. It's empty. <sighs> Pardon me if I look disheveled. I uh, just got back from going, spending the afternoon at Lazy Days RV Center, kicking tires, looking at motorhomes, RVs, fifth wheels, Airstreams, travel trailers, Class C, Class A, Class B, all of that. It's hot out there when you're doing that and you're in the sun. So, But let's get to the trunk club. Um, I have a pile of clothing here and I have two boxes of shoes and one handbag. So let's take a look at them. Let's just start with the handbag. And I think this handbag is going to be very hard to see on camera because it doesn't have a lot of detail. And it's a dark color, so it may blend away, but it does have this big pocket here that you could put an iPad or tablet in. And then it's plain on the other side. And the straps are plain. There's no hardware at all. It's all just the leather. And it's just an open tote. Now, I made a miracle concession. Oh, actually, it has a little, a little strap to it. I didn't see that before. I made a marital concession that I would not carry an open handbag. My husband grew up in Philadelphia. <laughs> And he's always worried about security. He's the one who always locks the door from the car or the house. I grew up in Arkansas. Leave the door open. You know, what if someone needs to get in? <laughs> but anyway, so this is purse would never fly for me unless it was going to be just to carry like books, homework, you know, use it more like a briefcase or something. But it smells good. <laughs> and it is lighter weight than a lot of purses that I carry, which is kind of nice. It's very simple, clean lines. So it's nice, but just nothing that I would carry without causing a marital, marital, it's nothing that I would carry without causing a dispute in my household. So let's see what it says about it. It's called the Medium Leather Transport Tote. Oh, so it is a, a tote and not a handbag. It is made, it's by Madewell in black for $158. It is very nice. It's got the double seam here, got seams across here. So it looks nice. I don't need it, but it's very nice. So let's go to the shoes. The first one, ooh, says waterproof on it. And it says Aquitalia. And size, I guess, 36, which is an eight and a half. So let's see what they look like. Ah, it is a suede looking pump. Very pretty. Very classic. Notice they don't shank them when they send it out. Um, very classic. Pretty black suede, I believe. I don't think it's navy. Lighting's a, it's, it's getting late in the day. Let's see if I can find this. Uh, ooh. Panita Flat by Aquitalia in black. This pair of shoes is $250. Now I'm afraid to try them on. Um, I'll have to be sure I try them on right after I get out of the shower and dry my feet. I'm a little afraid of them. But it says they're weatherproof. So folks who live in Seattle, San Francisco, I guess that might be a good, good plan. And Nordstrom's is a Seattle-based company that started as a shoe store. So ooh, the next ones are pretty. They are by Mark Fisher. And they are a higher pump. Now, I probably would not wear a shoe this high, but they're very classic looking. Or they are to me. Pretty pointy, get pretty narrow here. So let's see what it says about these. These are Mark Jacob, it said, right? Um, these are the Zala pump, eight and a half. Mark Fisher LTD in black for $159.95. That price is more, <laughs> you know, of what I would pay. It's the upper, you know, it's it's a good penny, but with the right shoes. But $250, I don't know. I kind of, I like good shoes, shoes um, rather than just fashion shoes. But I would, I don't think I would wear either one of those enough to make it worth it. If I had a different type of job like I used to have, maybe. So let's get to the clothing where there is an opportunity here to find something new and exciting. So the first item is made by Bobo. Let's see if you can see the tag. 
I don't know. And I'm going to read everything about these, even though it slows us down a little. And then I'll just put the fabrics as a caption if I remember to do that. I'm not going to go looking for them because there's so many items in Trunk Club, it slows you down enough. So this is Super Soft Cardigan. I Even though I've taken these out of the box and the papers, I haven't really looked them over that close. So, okay. Oh yeah, it's a cardigan. Yep, long cardigan. It's super soft. I think this is just like the one that I left at Gettysburg. Uh, let's see what it says. It's called the Amy Waterfall Cardigan by Bobo, size 2X in black for $68. I need a black cardigan. I got the one that has the ruffled stuff on the back one time, and I like that, but I decided it doesn't go with just everything. What the heck is it? Okay, got it. So, here it is. So, I really like this. I do like this. And it is 68. That's how much the other one was. I know that seems like a lot, but these are really super nice cardigans. So next is something in green. I'm not a green fan. I think I've said that a hundred times. But this t-shirt, somehow, when I was unwrapping it, just sort of has my attention. It's just a plain tee, super soft fabric. I don't know what it is. It's not, I don't think it's a plain cotton. It's kind of silky, too, at the same time. Let's see what it says. V-neck tee by Halogen in green for $32. $32. Maybe the least expensive item I've ever had in a trunk club. I don't know. I'm kind of interested in it. It's got a seam down the back. It looks nicely made. I like the fabric. We'll see how I look in the green. Oh, my back is hurting from my second fall. Next is a... Ooh, I am a little disappointed. When I took this out of the bag, I thought it was black or navy blue. Now that I'm in this light, I realize I think this is a dark green. It's definitely, I can tell, a poly blouse, which I normally wouldn't go for. See the buttons down the front? Kind of cute. Made by One State. And let's see what it says. It says Ruffle Sleeve Blouse by One State. It's the, in Cypress Pine. It is green for $89. When I was taking a quick look at it, I was kind of excited by the sleeves. It's got the triple ruffle sleeve. I thought that was kind of cute. And I was going to look past the fabric, but now that's green. But it's a really dark green, so I don't know. I'll try it. Why does the phone always ring? Okay, that's funny. Before, when I first started to try to film this video, I got a call and it was from my University of Alaska wanting a donation. And this one, 20 minutes later, is from my husband's uh, University of Western Washington wanting a donation. <laughs> it must be Sunday afternoon, must be when they call their alumni. So next item I'm calling the Beetlejuice shirt. Again, I'm pretty darn sure this is going to be 100% polyester. And it's got just the little banded sleeve. And it's different sizes of stripes. In the back it has this interesting pleated detail. Oh, tags in the way. The stripes appear to be navy and white. Might have a little gray. I can't quite tell. I think it has a little bit of gray and navy and white. And it is made by NYDJ, which I believe stands for Not Your Daughter's Jeans. So let's see how much this piece is. This blouse by NYDJ is in a 2X called Landscape Stripe Peacoat. That must be the color. <laughs> and $89. Yep. Not too excited with that one. Let's see. Next is a black. It looks like a sweater. It's long sleeve. Just the thought of this today after being out in the sun and the heat. Ooh. No. Long sleeve. Oh, see, it has a little seam right here. Oh, and it's got kind of the cuff like a sweatshirt has. It is made by Sanctuary in a 2X. 
and I can see through it in the camera, but I don't think it's necessarily something that if you were wearing it, you would see through. I mean, if you had a white bra on under this, you would, but I don't know if you would with a black bra. So let's see if we can find it on the price list. It is called the Cozy Drop Sleeve Top 2X by In Sanctuary, and it's black, and it is $59. I think it's a nice top if you live in some place that has some cool evenings or days, but yet not you know, super cold. Actually, you could put a turtleneck under it, too. It probably would have been very appealing to me a week ago, but I'm kind of thinking our cold is over. And if I were to buy anything... Oh, actually, the front has a seam. Kind of looks like it goes like this. Kind of like sweatshirts and stuff. Okay, next are some black trousers that are very wrinkled, it looks like. Um, can I see about these? They are made by Nick and Zoe. And they're long trousers. Uh, they look like they might be a little tight from me in the legs. But let's see what the card says about it. These are called the Wonder Stretch High Rise Straight Leg Pant. 20W, Nick and Zoe in black for $148. Well, for that price, they have to fit perfect and be wonderful. Okay, now I have a denim-like shirt, chambray-like shirt. <clears throat> it's not the heavy denim like I had in one of my recent boxes. It's long sleeve. I'm trying to see if it has the tab thing. No, I don't see it. It's a darker denim. It's got a tab right here on the side. Oh, and it has in the back... It has a seam like right here, right across. So almost like a peplum shirt would have. And it is by Foxcroft. It says it is the <clears throat> it is the split collar button down shirt 20W Foxcroft in navy for $108. Well, it is very nicely made. I'll say that about it. Sure is. So we'll see how that looks. And then the last item I have. <laughs> is another pair of cut from the cloth jeans. It is the Catherine Boyfriend jean, which I believe I've had at least twice. Once from this box, maybe once from a different brand. But, um, yeah, we'll see. Maybe Catherine has changed. But anyway, it's a 20W cut from the cloth. Uh, it just says version is the color. I don't know, $89. So those are my items. Not sure if I'm going to have enough light to try them on tonight, but I could probably get started with it. Or I'll just do it when I get home from work tomorrow. So, see you soon. Okay. The top is nice and soft. And it has the, you can see where the sleeve has a break in it. It's got almost like sweat sh sleeve, sweatshirt um, cuffs. Nice and soft. Uh, it's starting, I, I don't know if it's warming up here or not, but I had bought another long sleeve black shirt, recently more of a t-shirt. This is kind of somewhere between a t-shirt and a sweater, but it's pretty cute. The jeans are the Catherine Boyfriend jeans from Cut in the Cloth that I've had in more than one style box before now. So this is my third, fourth, maybe even fifth time to have them. I think I've had them like three times before. Uh, they look pretty cute, but here we have this. See this? <laughs> um, if you have a long top that comes down and covers it, okay. Otherwise, no. And I've got them pulled up. I mean, I just really can't hike them up much further without them, you know. So, I can't wear them. <laughs> but I'm going to use them to try on the other clothes. So, they have cute jeans. I like the top. Don't know if I need it, but I like it, but I'm not crazy for it, but it's a nice weight. It's not winter, but it's not summer either. It's just kind of a nice in-between late, maybe a layering piece in winter, and then a late night after the sun goes down in warmer weather. I don't know, but let's try something else. So here's the green t-shirt, and I don't hate it. <laughs> not a big green fan, but... I kind of like the color and it is so soft, but I do like the color on this one, so tell me.
what do you think? It feels good. It fits good. Can always, I guess, use a t-shirt, but uh, yeah, it's very soft. It's very nice, and I can't believe that I like a shirt that's green. <laughs> but some, not all greens are created equal. It's a huge variety of greens, and uh, this one kind of works for me. Okay, the denim shirt. It uh, feels good. Looks good. It's cute. It's a uh, pretty nice fit. It's got a little bit of extra roomy. It's not tight in any way. It's got a interesting seam here at the back and it's got this here so I like this shirt it's nice and the sleeves are long enough which is <laughs> I have pretty long arms and so I like it let's start with the blouse um, I think the blouse is really cute. I really like the style. These triple ruffles and it's got these buttons down the front. Um, it does have this weird thing though that this top one, this one folds that way. This one stays straight. I've even tried to say, okay, well, I can do this, <laughs> but then it goes back. So I don't know. That must be from when they shipped it, it got flipped over or something, but I don't think I could wear with one side up and one side over. It would drive me crazy. It's just an open, I keep saying open to things, but in other words, no, there's no fittedness here. But uh, it is lined. It's very well made. The design reminds me of a little bit of, is her name Nanette Lepore or something? I've seen some clothes and plus size boxes that have had, you know, some similar style. So I, I do like the style. And I normally don't like green. This green is so dark though. It looks like black. It really reads black. So I do think it's cute. I would have a problem with this though. So now let's talk about the pants. I do like the pants and I love how long they are. I don't know. I think you can see this, that they're all the way down. I know a lot of pants, it's more popular to have them like up like this. <laughs> But I really prefer them long like this. However, look at all this extra down in here. I mean, I don't even have to lift my shirt and show you. It's coming out from it. If it weren't for that, I'd be very interested in these pants. Plus, they have that thing where there's a thing at the knees where some bunches up and sticks out. But I like them. It feels a little weird, but I could get used to them. They have a little bit of a slipness to them. But they do feel good, though. But yeah, the waist is here, there, and here on the front. So yeah, the fit isn't right. But they're cute and I like them. And if they fit, I would consider these black pants. So that is the top and the pants. Okay, <clears throat> here's the cardigan. It's a nice long length. I think it might be longer than any of the others I have because it's below my fingertips. And it has that waterfall or whatever. Super, super soft. I mean, wow. <laughs> it really feels nice to the touch. Uh, it's black, so it's basic. You can... I don't know what else to really say about it. It's Bobo makes a nice cardigan, I have to say. Very similar to the navy blue one that I no longer have. and wish I did. <laughs> um, I like it very much. So now let's look at the top. The top is in the same colors as a top I purchased early on in my truck club in Denver because um, it had the, the blue and the black. It's a Daniel Rain, I think, floral. Similar sleeves. It's very similar to that, just in different print maybe. Uh, the top of that one, may the neckline may have been different. But this had that pretty pleats back here. But I think this top is too big. I mean, really, it's got a lot of extra... Uh, if I liked it, it would be too big, but I'm not even that wild about it. Welcome back. It's time to find out what's going to go on the hanger and what's going to go back in the trunk. So, let's start with the pants. 
the pants are by Nick and Zoe. It's the brand. Let me see if I can get the my little card here. Nick and Zoe. Okay, they are called Wonder Stretch High Rise Straight Leg Pants in black from Nick and Zoe, $148. And they don't fit, as you saw. I'm sure you could tell, even, even though I may not have the best videography, I think you could tell that these didn't fit. So these are back in the trunk. Next is this blouse by NYDJ. Trying to remember how much this was. No, I'll just put it in the captions because it really doesn't matter how much this is. Um, it's not something I want to keep. It's another poly blouse with no um, fitting anywhere, just a boxy. That's the word. I kept saying open earlier, but it's boxy. Next is the sweater, the cardigan by Bobo. I really like this. It's very nice. I'm trying to decide if I want to spend another, I think it's $68, yes, um, because I did buy another black cardigan. It's much plainer in the front, and then it has that light fabric in the back that's pleated. This one's quite a bit different than that one, although I'm probably not going to need this until next fall, so I don't know. I'm going to set this aside for right now, and then I'll think about it. Okay, now we have the blouse by One State. That is in a very dark green. Let's see what they call it. They call it Cypress Pine. The ruffle sleeve. It's $89. I do like the style of it. I love this. Even though it's just a boxy shirt. It's a little bit shorter boxy shirt. So it, I don't think it's quite as, um, makes you look quite as boxy. But, um, and I don't like green, but this is, this is okay. This, I didn't think this looked that bad on me. But here we go with this again. Yeah, this one folding over. This one tends to fold in if you leave it straight up, but they won't both fold the same way. And I know that I cannot wear something that does that like that. It would just bug the heck out of me. But I do think it's pretty. I do. And if you are looking for this type of blouse where it's a, like a poly um, and the beautiful sleeves, and you don't mind it not being fitted in the middle, I think this is a good choice. So in the trunk. Next, I have the Catherine jeans, and I am going to be sending the Catherine boyfriend jeans back one more time. <laughs> I've had them lots of times from different people. They're cut from the cloth. They have not a ton of, no, they don't really have a lot of stretch, actually. They're pretty much like jean jeans, you know, not with a lot of spandex in them, but I'll probably look at the um, contents and find there is some, but they're not really, I'm not really feeling stretch. No, but anyway, they just droop in the crotch, but they are cute. I do like them. So if you're longer waisted, these might be a good choice. And this was pretty. I like this. However, I don't need this. I have a couple denim shirts already, and I just bought one, I think, from Fashion, I believe. So again, I don't need one. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. Is this the, this is Foxcroft, yes. This top is $108. So really that helps me decide. Yeah. That's gonna go back to Trunk Club. Next is the green t-shirt. Now, I could use a couple more t-shirts and while well, green isn't my favorite color, I kinda like this, this shade of green. Uh, and it just, you know, step outside your uh, comfort zone, I guess. Let's see what it says about this. It's the V-neck tee from Halogen, $32. So I like it. I think it's well made. It's super soft. So instead of, instead of folding it up, I think I'll put it on the hanger. And it may be the only item that makes it to the hanger this time. But So one item on the hanger. Okay, the last clothing item is the long sleeve black sweaterish top. Did they call it a sweater or no, they just call it a cozy drop sleeve tee in black for $59. I like this. I think this would be a good choice, except I have a couple long sleeve black tee type things. I live in Florida. It's going to do nothing but get warmer. So I really, I just don't need it. But if I did need it, 
I would certainly buy this item. And as I said before, I'm on the fence on this one, so I think I'm just going to send this one back. I, I like it, but I think I don't really need it either because I have that other black one. This is a little bit different in style, but I can always order it again, maybe more in the fall or something. I, I don't see this one as, it seems a little heavy to wear in the office. So I sent this one back for now. The only other items were the purse, which I happen to have right here, which is very nicely made, uh, but it's open and I don't carry purses like that. I mean, you could use it like as a book bag or almost like a briefcase if you want to, because you could put a tablet or iPad in here and then, you know, your files or something in here, but I don't need this for that reason. Uh, and I wouldn't carry it as a purse because it's open, so that's going back. And then the two pairs of shoes that I shared, those they, they weren't comfortable. wasn't that they don't necessarily fit, but they don't feel good on me, uh, which I guess is an indication that the fit isn't right if it doesn't feel good. So that's going back. So the one item that I am keeping out of the whole trunk this time is the t-shirt. So that's it. That's my trunk club. I want to thank you for uh, watching. Um, I hope that you will like the video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And for those who are subscribed, thanks for doing that and thanks for coming back and visiting me. Oh, and happy Valentine's Day. I shot this on Valentine's Day. <laughs>